Hello everyone, it is Shanil Rose. Today I'm going to be showing you how to play Past Lives by Borns. I've gotten a lot of requests for this one, so let's jump right into it. We are going to want to start off with the intro and it's going to sound something like this. So broken down, we're going to start off with an arpeggio with the E chord. And you can do this in a lot of different ways. The way I did it is simple E major chord on both hands down here. So we have E, G sharp, and then B. So you're going to start going up with your left hand. And then with your right hand. Then you're going to transition your hands from here to here. So simple shift all the way up an octave. So after you go. Same thing again. And then if you want, you could just cross over any way you'd really like to. Um, just make sure you hold the pedal down for that kind of smooth running effect. After that part, you're going to play these notes with your right hand. You can do them in octaves, or you can also just play the single notes. But these notes are going to be E, D sharp, or E flat, C sharp. B, and then we're going to go to C. So again, it's going to go like this. The next little part is going to start on G sharp, down to F sharp, back to G sharp, up to B, and then switch between the two again. And then you're going to do that same thing again, starting on G sharp. So after you finish the arpeggio, your left hand is going to be on the E, and then you're going to want to move it down. And after you play the little part, the little riff with your right hand, as soon as you hit the C sharp, you're going to hit an A chord with your left hand. And as soon as you hit the C, you're going to shift this A chord to an A minor just by slipping the C sharp down to a C. So, and then the shift right here. The next little part, you're going to start on C sharp minor. So C sharp, E, and then G sharp with your left hand. And then as soon as you're going to hit this G sharp, you're going to move this chord down to a B. So B, E flat, and then F sharp. And then you're going to keep going, and then you're going to move this down to an A chord. And then back up to a B. So all together, it should sound like this. All right, so the next half of the intro is when the singing begins. So we are going to start with an E chord with our left hand. And the line past lives is going to start with our thumb on the E. So past lives on the E, and you're going to go F sharp, G sharp, and then B, so. so. Next part, you're going to move this chord down to a B chord, so the B, E flat, F sharp, and then you're going to move this down, kind of the same pattern, but you're just going to move it down to a B chord formation, so. part that was different there at the end instead of going all the way up you're going to do the E flat E F sharp back down to the E flat and then back down to the E or back up to the E sorry so. then we're going to go down to the A chord and we're going to alternate between B and G sharp so and then up to the B down to the A, back up to the B, and so I'll play that one more time for you guys. So A chord, 
switching between these two notes. And then we're going down to E flat and then B with this hand. Back down to A. And then that repeats again. So the only part that changes for that last part is we finish it off with the B, unresolved to the E yet, but we're going to get to that for the verse. Alright, so to start off the verse, we are going to start just by playing a few E chords. You can play them pretty much any variation you want. You play them like just octaves down here, just play the chords like this. But the way I usually like to play it is two octaves down here with my left hand and um, inverted E right here, so E, B, and then G sharp. So as you can see, I was playing kind of the bass, kind of like the uh, driving, <laughs> you know, kind of beat with the octaves right here. Um, if you'd like, if, you know, you, you want to do something else, you can just kind of just play away. Play the E's as long as you go for the right amount of time before you count into the verse, you are all good. So yeah, that's just a little section right before the verse. So for the verse, I'm just going to play the right hand for now, but you are going to, it's going to be very similar to what we played in the intro. So you're going to start with B and then you're going to alternate between G sharp and B. So. alternate between B and G sharp and then just F sharp and G and then again and then C sharp and then G sharp and you slide up to the A so those notes again were just If you're feeling extra groovy, extra funky, and you want to add in that special part in the song, that little instrumental high part, it starts on the E. So what I usually do is alternate my index finger down here. So E, E flat, back to E, B, and then G sharp. So. With our left hand, the chords are going to be as follows, so we're going to start with the E. So it was just four E chords in a row. As soon as you go down to the C sharp with your right hand, you're going to play the A chord with your left hand. So. section is repeated again after that with your right hand the melody is going to go like this and you are going to kind of mimic that same little riff we did here but down an octave so So we did that, basically the same thing we did, but just down here. Second time we do it, we just end on the F sharp. Down here to B, and then up to C sharp. And then you basically do that again. And then that concludes the part right before the chorus. All right, so we, we're doing the little riff, and when we end on the G sharp, do the C sharp minor chord with your left hand. When you end on the F sharp, you're going to move down to a B. And you're going to move up to an E chord. And as soon as you hit the C 
sharp down to an A. So a little faster. And then you do that again. Alrighty, so now we finally have the chorus. So because it has more energy, feel free to add some bounce into it and spice it up with your left hand. Like I said, I was only playing just chords like this, but you can, you know, I like to do octaves and kind of climb my way up, do inverted chords. So that is entirely up to you depending on how the song feels to you. So you can play that however you'd like to. So with our right hand, the chorus is going to go like this. We're gonna start with the E with our thumb, as usual. So we're gonna stretch a little further than normal because usually we're alternating between, you know, with our pinky on the B and our thumb on the E, but we're gonna stretch our pinky up to C sharp this time. So stretch up and then switch from the B to the C sharp and then to G sharp. So just a little alternation right there. So one more time. Next part, we're going to have our index finger on F sharp. So you just hit the F sharp a few times. Up. And then you're just playing the E chord, so. And you play that again. So, last part was a little different, as you could tell. So instead of going up, you just go down to the C sharp and the B. So. For the left hand, you are gonna start with the E chord. So as usual, E, G sharp, B. And then just an important note, you're not going to play the E chord as soon as you hit the little pickup note on the E. You're going to play it as soon as you hit the C sharp up here. And then down to A. C sharp minor. <laughs> And then just for, you know, just for fun, you could play a little bounce here, so I'll do that. And then just a little side note, I like to play it on this part, but if, you know, don't want to do this, no worries. But just after that part, I like to play the little, just for the, <laughs> the bounce. So it's just two octaves right here up on the E, so it'll sound like this. at the end of the chorus you um, can do it you know up here or down here I like to do it down here just for a little soft effect but I play an E chord down here and it goes like this so you're just playing the E chord if you or sorry E chord with your left hand and then the E note with your right hand and then up to G sharp F sharp and then back down to E so So the next verse follows the first verse's structure pretty closely, but there's just a little bit of a variation, so I will be going over that, but it just sounds something like this. So up to this point, it's all the same, but instead of going back down to the, you're going to climb up. So. So we climbed up with B, C sharp, E flat, E, F sharp, G sharp, and then back down to C. 
C sharp, sorry. So. And then kind of like how we did down here, we're just gonna do that down here. And then the chords are gonna be pretty much the same as they were for the last verse, so. or just the chord. Then we're gonna jump into that little pre-chorus line, which is pretty much the exact same as the first time we played it. Chorus is gonna be pretty much exactly the same so I will play that for you, just with a little bounce. Then you play that again just to finish off that chorus. Now, lucky us, we have a bridge that is pretty much exactly something, or exactly like something we learned before, which is that line except you're gonna repeat that a few more times so just for emphasis on that or just to add a little jazz to it you can do it um, down on this octave then you can move up here and up here as the bridge goes on so For the last chorus, it has that little effect where the instrumentals are pulled back for a second while we listen to him sing. So just for that effect, you can play a simple chord or you could play no chord at all with your left hand while you play that little introduction to the chorus. So, or you could just play it a little quieter like this. So I'm just playing an inverted A right here. As soon as I hit the then I get right into it because that's when all the instrumentals come in and then we get, you know, super energetic with the chorus. you can still play but just with simple chords if um, the arpeggios are a little too advanced you can just stick with the three note chords which are mentioned you know previously in the video if you want to scroll back to the previous chords you can see chord progression for each of the parts pretty much and then just for the end of the song we are going to end with that same line that we do for the verse Alright, so that is how you cover Past Lives by Borns. I have a cover of the song on my channel that I will have linked on the screen for you. If this tutorial helped you, please let me know in the comments. And if you'd like to see more piano videos or tutorials, subscribe to the channel. <laughs> that is all for this video. Stay safe as always. Please get enough sleep tonight, and I will see you guys in the next one.